Getting a cat on a leash sounds about as easy as herding cats, right? It's not, of course. But if homeowners in one area don't do that, they could find themselves with a feline fine. CBS 17's Harrison Grubb tells us where this is all happening. In a dog eat dog world, it's not just canines that have to be leashed. The rule is there, not really so that you start putting your cats on a leash. It's so that you'll just keep your cat inside. Carry Animal Services is reminding cat owners to keep their pets on a leash when they're not on their property. It's a law that's been in the books for more than a half century. Right now, the cats are really out of control that are outdoors. Justine Schumacher runs Schumacher Sanctuary in Cary. We probably get, I'd say at least every spring, 100 animals that are injured by cats. It's a big reason she is praising Cary Animal Services for bringing attention to the law. But how well known is it? I went to the downtown Cary Park Friday afternoon to talk to Cary residents and cat owners. Everyone I spoke with was unaware the rule existed. One owner said trying to get a leash on their cat would be a, quote, nightmare. It's not just people trying to be mean to cats. You know, we all love cats. We love all animals. But there are some animals that are, are becoming invasive species, and it, it's just so important that we spread the news. And if you don't keep your cat on a leash, there are potential penalties. A first-time offense is a $20 fine, which continually increases after each violation. A fifth offense would see the animal taken from you. Similar laws are in place in communities across Wake County in North Carolina. In Cary, Harrison Grubb, CBS 17 News. Wes, I feel like no matter what you say, you cannot follow this story. You cannot no. beat the thought of trying to put a leash on a cat. I just imagined that story. We didn't really just do a story about a leash on a cat, did we? Hey, it's the law. It's the law. It's the law.